Hello Diamonds and welcome back to Echo P Season 6. So, it has been quite a lot of work in the past few days. And I can see that Leo has done a lot of work as well on the, on the garden area of the bee. A few others who have been working hard, because we have all the buildings everywhere. And I also did quite a bit of work. So, namely, I started the platform build for the hotel or the housing complex to be more exact at the moment i've noticed that so many other players have their own hotels up so i might end up just making my own house which will be then really big but yeah so today's episode i will probably dedicate mostly to get all the necessary items so i will build it out of bricks like usual because I think bricks look the nicest, especially when colored. And also they are one of the cheapest. And to paint all the bricks, I would need to get the kiln. And I need to buy also the skill scroll. Because painting requires some skill, but level zero. So just learning the paper. And so of course, if you buy the colored one and then you want to clean them you can do it with with any so it will be easier and let's see what interesting text is up here so mechanics advanced melting industry advanced cooking so at the moment industry and advanced cooking are the two that are being made i'm actually thinking if i will take the advanced cooking or or if i will uh, go into farming just because, well, we have really high competition on the cooking side and and kind of lack of some of the ingredients. So usually I, I'm struggling to find everything. But yeah, just as I said, uh, to make uh, to make anything with the pottery, mm -hmm. then let's see. I think we have somewhere here paint breaks recipe. And as you can see, it shows pottery zero. So it literally means that I just need to learn the skill. So I will take it. It's 45 pounds. So not crazy expensive, but considering our finances, it's always expensive. So I'll buy it, learn it, but I will not put my star into it, which is the key element. Because we do have a lot of people doing the bricks already. Ah, what else I built here was second store that can then where I will sell all the not so good foods. So if the percentage goes under 30, then it will show up here. And if it's 30 to 100, it will be available here. Of course, like all those things, I'm kind of out. So I might start removing some of those. Yeah, I have to cook a few more because there's always some demand. And yeah, I'm also selling meat stock now. Which is something that I understand people who will go advanced cooking will definitely need. So it would make some sense. And I also bought myself a truck, finally. And painted it blue. So this way it's much easier to deliver all the bricks to this place. So we can go and get them. And yeah, the, the way to the shop where I can buy the, buy the kiln and the bricks is quite long. So I'm going to the Truus shop, which is in the mountains, Frosty Village. And the main problem is this road here because I haven't seen the tunnel or anything here. So if it's okay, we can easily make it. If not, then... It can be a little bit troublesome, but I'm quite sure that we can find a way to get all the way there. So, one way or another, we will we'll find the destination. So, let's go. It's actually first try for me with the truck as well, as I painted and just left it here for the recording time. So, yeah. It's kind of nice to quickly move around 
before it was way too slow. And yeah, many people have done a lot of work. The scrapyard is looking fantastic. It has been advancing a lot. And yeah, oil trailing is already out and and the pollution will be made. Most of the roads, especially the main roads, have asphalt now. So we have had few people who are super busy with those things. So yeah, much easier access. And the server is still quite busy. I haven't really seen a moment where we have less than 20 people. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the road. What about this tree? It's, yeah, it's on here, so yeah. I'm not allowed to do anything to it, but it can be troublesome. So if we later have any trouble to get out, then that's probably why. And yeah, the tunnel goes through. It might have slight issues, so I will I'll make sure that our hands are empty so I can easily dig ourselves out. And yeah, just up the hill. Almost there. But a long way. <laughs> yeah, with the powered cart it would take much 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 longer. And also uh, I would get stuck immediately. So I think the powered cart uh, is a bit higher, even compared to loaded truck. Ooh, it's really nice white building, blends in very well. And true is also very good at doing nice stuff. And using the new blocks that we have to make all the tunnels and stuff. It's fantastic. Really, really nicely made. So before we even buy it, let's let's quickly look around. Because I kinda like the design and the racing. So the buildings themselves are not finished yet, it seems. But yeah, like building inside the mountain or like next to the mountain in white, next to snow. It's really nice. So hopefully in a few days he will make the building even bigger and nicer. And yeah, the hewn log parts that uh, you can use to make like this type of roofs is fantastic as well. And yeah, putting them after a while it really makes it feel like real tunnel, which has all the supports and stuff. And then secret passageway up here. Wow. The water is right after the <laughs> right outside of the window. Nice. So yeah, this this is probably all the workshop and stuff. Like he's keeping his kilns and stuff on this floor. And it's all inside the mountain. Like here we can see a little bit of snow, but yeah, it's really well done. I really like it. So well organized. But it probably takes also a very long time to get ready. So I haven't really had too much time to stay online. So it's also one of the reasons why the cooking is not going as well as I was hoping. But anyway, I need one kiln. I will deal with all the other stuff later. And how many bricks can we really carry? Our weight limit is 5 tons, and we can definitely take, if not all, at least most of them. So let's see, I will buy all, and hopefully I can fit them all in. Yeah, we could even take more. This good. I will be selected because <laughs> it's easier, and I'm outside of the truck. And now... The main part, can we get back without getting stuck? It's a little bit doubtful. 
And I'm also looking around if I can find any fern. Maybe a little bit. Because fern is one of the items that I'm kind of missing. It's nothing like on the sale most of the time. And last time I saw something on sale, it was super expensive. Ah, now it's available. It's probably in the past few hours. And where is this shop? It's over there. So we're going past it anyway, so maybe I will take a few of those. Because I always need some. And I will keep the seeds so I can plant them myself and grow more of them. It's the forests where I claimed a little bit land. I have emptied it every single time. And yeah. And there are not too many plants. I think there was a bit over thousands, like 1200 or something. And yeah, a bit more difficult to find than many other plants. But yeah, it's fine. I at least have now a few more to take home. And the planting I will probably do off camera, like usual. is that way yeah so also i'm starting to think that if i take the farming skill then i would probably need to spend some money to get the tractor and all the tools which of course at the moment is a little bit impossible with the finances that i have so how much do i have left now okay less than 150 pounds it's not that much, so, so I do, do not think that I can buy the tractor at the moment. I would need to make way more foods and sell them. And the second thing is that uh, I before even getting that far, I want to get the basic housing ready. Wow, we were lucky. So with the basic housing, at least we can get more XP. This is the shop I wanted to visit. And this one at the moment I have is fine. I think I'm okay. 30 quid. Not bad. So yeah, I will quickly go back. And I have to start thinking also where to put the kiln. Because at the moment uh, I do not have that much space. I mean, I can put it in my kitchen and lose my 4.3 extra XP. But yeah, it's probably the only way to make it work. I don't even know how much we have free space in the kitchen. Because I think kiln is 45. What it requires, yeah. And in this way, I will definitely be out of the space. So I might need to make temporary building on on top of the housing complex where I will do all the painting. So let's see once we get off. I quickly park it right here. Ah, and we have the power poles. And even electricity running. Nice. So if we come inside, I think we only have 15 free because, yeah, only have 15 free cu cubic meters. So I will definitely need to expand something. Like this stockpile, I'm probably moving uh, somewhere else just so I can make this area bigger. And I will need to extend this building. And then I can. Maybe fit in everything. Oh, actually. Interesting idea. What if I check inside? Like how much space we have here? Uh, plenty of space up here. So maybe I can 
somehow find a way to put this here. It's two, two, three. So it's three high. So it's a little bit troublesome for some of the blocks. But maybe I can figure something out. So let's see. I put it right here. And then I will need to do some other works as well. I will put also corners there. So I will probably need to do it a bit differently. Okay. I will definitely need way more bricks, so I will get full stack. Does require more planning than I had anticipated. It is what it is. So okay. Because I just want the building to look a bit more normal. They are making the chimney very wide. So what about this? Does it have too many holes still? It's 149 as the tier. So I think it has few holes. There was one. It's one as well. well. Let's see. I mean, we don't really need that much anyway, so it's totally fine. Let's get some fuel into it. Nice. Might also want to get a module. They have upgrade force. None. Just a sec. I think I can maybe take one from the from those. Is this one finished? This one is finished. And do this one. And I jumped down. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I think at least this level 3 we can at least increase some speeds as well. We cannot do anything else. So let's see, paint bricks. I will, I will use my truck as the storage. So input outputs. And... Let's see, I will probably start with 200, and what color do I want? So all colors have their own speciality. And yeah, gray is kind of boring, so I might go with black. And then maybe make some whites and stuff as well later on. But let's get it started. It should be quite quick in the production. As I'm already here, I will put loads of stuff in there. I need a bit more foods. Take this and this. Just trying to balance out my diets, which is never going well. Any other foods that I can consume quickly? Especially meaty foods. I mean, 
I do like <laughs> this type of stuff, but it's not very nutritious. And yeah, most of the foods the character doesn't like anyway. But yeah, I will quickly get at least the basic bricks done and then we can take a look on uh, how I will design the building and I will be right back. So I have decided to go for this size, leaving the walls like they are. So in this case, I also will have kind of like a walkway outside. Not sure how I will fully utilize it, but yeah, this will be the size. So probably in the front, I will make some type of like a garden space, like kind of like relaxing area. And I also have the plan to do some work down here. So I want to make this beach much nicer and probably a pier or something that goes into the water. So, yeah. So probably that one will have its own staircase somewhere in the front side, maybe both sides going down. And yeah, so I need to do a lot of work on that side as well. But yeah, I think that's all for today's video. I hope you like it. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye.